Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Lauren with the Coffee Cake Quilt Company coming to you from beautiful Cape May. I'm here with my family vacationing and I thought I'd go ahead and put together a video for you of our next fabric scrap bags um, unbagging from fatquartershop.com. Um, if you do not know, these bags are $12.98 a piece and they come with five inch to 17 inch cuts. Totally random, usually really great fabrics. Um, and they are actually available currently on Fat Quarter Shop's website as of right now when I am filming this video. So go ahead and check out my description box down below with the link for this item and you can go ahead and purchase it. My family arrived last Friday while they were shooting the Bob Dylan uh, biopic um, with Timothy Chalamet. So we did get a little bit of footage and um, like footage of the town and all the um, kind of changes that they made to our town to fit in with that scene. Um, and then I also have some still images that I can put at the end of this video. If you're interested, go ahead and stay tuned for that. And as always, if you could please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, the YouTube algorithm really appreciates those likes and comments that we get. It helps to kind of promote the video and make it more available for people that might like to see it. Um, so I really do appreciate that as well. So if you remember, we have bags two, four, five, six, and 10 left to open. And you guys did vote for number 10 officially, and then numbers two and five had a tie. However, the bags are kind of small this time around, so I decided to just go ahead and open all three for you today. Because I am vacationing with my family this week, I do not have weights for all of you, but I can tell you that number two is definitely less than a pound. And number 10 is probably about a pound, maybe a little bit over. And then number five is a little bit of a whopper, maybe closer to a pound and a half, two pounds. Um, I will go ahead and measure these when I get home or weigh them when I get home. And then I'll go ahead and put that in the description box below if you are curious. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in and see what's inside these uh, bags. So let's go ahead and get started with bag number two. Okay, first up we have this 10 inch cut here. This is just a white solid. Okay, here we have a 10 inch cut of Lori Holt. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It says something town. So if you know what this is, uh, sorry for the wind. If you know what this is, go ahead and put it below in the comment section. Here we have a 16 inch by 22 inch cut. Sometimes we get these odd cuts. They're not quite the uh, width of fabric. Um, and this is a batik. Okay, here we have a seven inch cut. This is a white on white. I don't know if you can see, but it has little snowflakes. Probably can't see. There's little snowflakes on here. Okay, here's a six and a half inch cut here. This is Sunny Side by Camila Raskelly from Moda. Okay, here's another six inch cut. This is Marcus Fabrics. Not sure what the name of the design is. We do have one nice big cut. This is a 17 inch cut of B Cross Stitch by Lori Holt for Riley Blake Designs. Here we have a really wonky cut. This is 11, sorry for the wind. This is 11 inches. Um, and it's just a kind of linen colored woven. Here's a seven inch cut. This is for Riley Blake Designs. I'm not sure who the designer or the line is. And finally, we have this little six inch cut of Lori Holt for Riley Blake Designs. I'm not sure what line this is from. And that is the bag. That was a really sad one. Uh, if you've been with me for a little while, I think you'd probably agree. Um, but you know what? This is really atypical of these bags, so don't let that stop you from purchasing them. I'll go ahead and get to the next two bags and hopefully they offer a little bit something more exciting. Okay, let's go ahead with bag number 10. Okay, here we have a 17 and a half inch cut. This is Art Gallery Fabrics. This is sandstone. Here we have an eight and a half inch cut. This is Lori Holt, I believe. I'm not really sure what line this is from. We've seen this before. We have an 11 inch cut here of this batik. Here we have a 14 inch cut. This is Riley Blake Designs. I'm gonna guess Lori Holt, I really don't know. Does anybody know what line is it from? Is it definitely Lori Holt? And here we have a nine inch cut. And this has nothing on the selvage. I think we've seen this before as well. Here's a 15 inch cut of this beautiful blue batik. I wish you could see this in person, it's actually really pretty. Okay, here's a 12 inch cut, super wonky. Okay, obviously they're straightening the bolt. And this is Calico by Lori Holt for Riley Blake Designs. Here's a seven and a half inch cut. This is our gallery fabrics. Okay, another seven inch cut here. I think this might be Lori Holt, I'm not really sure. There's nothing on the selvage. Okay, here's another art gallery. This is also a seven inch cut. This is kind of like a gray, maybe like a brown gray color. 
All right, so that's it for bag number two. Let's go ahead to bag number three. And then after this video, if you just wanna comment down below what bag was your favorite so far, I don't know that I really like absolutely love any of them. I think we've definitely had better bags in the past, but we do have this other big bag waiting for us. So let's see, maybe that'll be my favorite. Okay, obviously save the best for last. This is an awesome bag. So here we have an 18 inch cut. This is Tula Pink Besties. Um, I can't remember what the actual design was called, but I also have some of this in yardage as well. And a 12 inch cut in daisy chain. This is also part of the Tula Pink Besties line. Here we have an 11 inch cut. This is for Moda, but I'm not really sure who the designer is. If you know, go ahead and put it down below in the comments. I don't really like fabrics like this. You guys know that, but maybe somebody will and they might wanna read the comments and find out who this fabric is so that they can search for it themselves. Okay, this is a 15 inch cut. This is, oh geez, black tie. Okay, seven and, a half, seven and a half inch cut here. This has nothing on the selvage other than this is for Moda fabrics. Really super pretty. I know my mother-in-law would love this. Here we have a 14 inch cut. This is for Andover Fabrics and this is Laundry Basket Quilts, but I'm not sure which line this is from. And we have a nine inch batik here. This is a really pretty pink. And here's a 15 inch cut. This is Blueberry Delight by Bunny Hill Designs for Moda. Absolutely love this. Here's a 14 inch cut. This is kind of like a snowy gray color maybe, cotton woven. Okay, so we actually have two cuts of this. This one is 13 inches. This is just a solid. And another 13 inch cut here as well. So we've got 26 inches of that fabric. Right, so that's all we've got. So just to refresh your memory a little bit, we've got, let's see, this first bundle. I'm just gonna get it pretty looking so that you can tell me which bundle is your favorite. We've got this one. Hopefully that'll focus. We've got this one. This one has a lot of Lori Holt. So if you like this one, this was bundle number 10. And finally, we have bundle number five here. This one definitely had the most fabric. It had that Tola pink that I love so much. Um, and these are some really pretty colors. Um, and then of course, I like this blue one as well. I love the bunny hill designs. This was definitely my favorite by far. All right, so like I said, if you wanted to see some of that little footage that I have from Kate May and the new Bob Dylan biopic coming out, go ahead and stay tuned. Also like, subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below with your favorite bundle or fabric. Um, and I will see you next time for the Sew Sampler, which is also coming out this week. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.